Coast Guard crews were called into action overnight. They scrambled to help find a boater during some less than ideal weather conditions. News 8 cameras were the only ones rolling when the man was brought to shore. News 8's Ken Pierce on scene with details. It was the middle of the night out on Long Island Sound with four foot waves, 20 knot winds. One sailor found out the hard way that's not the time to be out there sailing by yourself. Fortunately, the folks here at Coast Guard Station New Haven were ready to do what they do best, even though it wasn't the best of conditions. That's a 41 foot Coast Guard boat speeding back to New Haven from a rescue mission in the middle of the night. A sailor called 911 from his cell phone around 2.30 a.m. saying his boat and his health were in trouble out in dangerous conditions on Long Island Sound. News 8 cameras were the only ones there as this boater wound up safe on land on a stretcher. The rescue was complicated, not just by weather, but when he called and said he was having chest pains and his boat was taking on water, the Coast Guard first had to find him out there in the dark when all they had was a shaky cell phone signal to go by. I had a little bit of trouble, uh, like I said, with the signal. So our, the original position we had wasn't exactly uh, where he ended up being. For landlubbers, it's easy to forget that the Coast Guard is constantly out patrolling our waters and standing by for rescues of all types at all hours of the day or night. This was just another day at the office. That's true. You know, we don't. It's it's not a uh, you know not every day we get to go out and do this, um, but we are you know we're trained to do it. So when the when we get the call, um, you know we expect to come home every time, just like we did tonight. After the first priority of rescuing the man, then they went back out to rescue his boat. The current and wind had carried it even further, but after the sun came up, they tracked it down and towed the sailboat Freedom into a marina in Branford. What had started as a trip from one part of Long Island to another ended in the middle of the Connecticut shoreline. When the Coast Guard goes out on a call like that, they say they are working a case. This particular case involved not only rescuing the sailor, but his boat as well. And now that the sailboat Freedom is securely tied up here in Brantford, it's case closed. On the scene in Brantford, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.